Hi everyone and welcome back to a short tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'll show you how to change the bash prompt. So let's start by heading over to the Ubuntu Linux console. Okay, let's do a quick check of the version of the Ubuntu that we are using. You can, oops, SA, you can see that I am using Ubuntu focal right 20.04.4 okay so changing bash prompt is very useful whether you are a system admin or a, you are a youtuber doing your own video right so one of the easiest way to get started is to use the ps1 variable and then assign the new prompt right we can do it to change prompt Oops. Okay. So changing prompt here is pretty straightforward. Right. Just need to make sure that the text that you want to change is inside the you know double inverted comma. Apologies, the double inverted commas over here, right? These two double inverted commas, anything inside becomes the prompt, right? So PS1 followed by the prompt, you get this, right? So it's pretty straightforward to change. Uh, it's really useful for demos, tutorials, right? Uh, if you, and in scenario whereby you do not want to show the uh, default prompt because it shows the username, the host name, this is a quick way to change the prompt, right? So let's look at some of the options that you can um, use for the bash prompt. So first, let's add in the username, right? Which is denoted by the forward slash u. Okay, and when you do enter, you can see that I am root. So if I do an ID, I'm in the root account and then we can add on okay to make it more readable let me have a hex in front so we can also add in the host name right at slash uh, slash host name first you can see that we have root followed by the host name we can add a you know add symbol in front or in between so that it is a little bit more readable default uh, you will also see the slash uh, small w specify the full path right you can see that it's variables now if you use the tilde backslash which is for your home directory oops you can see that the directory is a tilde sign and then of course you can change it to var slash log right you can see that the folder is shown here as well the full path now if you only want to see the current directory you can use the capital w right so you can only, you can see that the path is w right so these are the usual uh common variable syntax that you can use to change your prompt now if you want a new line right which helps you to you know make it a little bit more readable right you can do slash n right stand uh which is new line okay now if you find that the plain single color prompt is a little bit dull you can use the uh color option right so color option you can start with let's start from scratch let's do a clear okay so ps1 equals the syntax to specify the color prompt, color prompt starts with slash e followed by open square bracket okay the first number is to show whether it's a normal text by zero or one for bow right and then followed by a semicolon next let's change it to color 33 m okay and then you can add in the uh, text that you want to show right so i believe 33 is is it red I, let's check it out space red square bracket 
hex sign and then let's check it out oh no it's brown actually so we can do brown okay you can see that it's now changed to brown now there are many ways to specify the syntax if you go into the actual bash rc config file you will see slash 033 right and then they have this ability to add in this slash square bracket to define the opening of the parameter right but for prom wise you know you can keep it simple uh, you can use slash e or slash uh, forward slash 033 uh, we're going to show uh, I can't remember two what is two right you can always play around with the text and then four which is 34 m which is uh, I believe it is is it pink let's try it out no it's actually dark blue right so dark blue which really makes very hard to see okay let's change this to uh, normal color and then we can see that it is now it is dark blue right and then we can change this to 36 which is cyan you can see that you can play with the various color now that's a very quick and fast way to change the um, prompt so let's change it to my favorite prompt which is ps1 equals to open inverted double inverted comma followed by let's specify the user okay slash u at slash you know my host name which is also you know my website then space at by folder slash w you want to see the full path and then let's do a dollar sign that change it All right you can do a slash dollar for special character now we let's change the color right so we can do slash e square bracket bow 32 m and then we have slash e open square bracket bow 38 m and then followed by slash E square bracket zero three five. Oops, do not forget the semicolon M to end the to start the color scheme, and then let's do a slash N and then change the color to cyan, right? Three six, okay, one bracket followed by M and then let's hit enter right you can see now the color has become a little bit more interesting right 32 is green and it seems that 38 is also green right and then we have uh, pink followed by cyan which is blue right so that is a quick tutorial on how to quickly change the color let's change it to bow here as well and then let's change this to 35 right now 36 33 31 actually let's go for 30 right and we can see 30 is black you can't really see the words it's a good way to hide 31 is red okay now that now we have a mix of very colorful prompt right which is useful for your tutorial youtube video right so this is a quick way to get started with the bash prompt now if you want to make this persistent so what you've just done is for this session only right you will change the prompt now if i ask you to uban2 right you can see that the prompt is different because they're using a different prompt and then if i take a exit back to the prompt you know uh, the session is there now if I use this command source right which is to specify what is the configuration I want to use for the prompt which is source followed by the 
uh, home directory for slash root and then dot bash is the configuration file is a hidden file now if i do this i didn't change back the oh yeah okay so it changed to the configuration that i have done right before this tutorial so if i reboot the systems or i you know disconnect this SSH session and reconnect this will be the actual prompt that you will see right because i've done the change in the bash dot sorry the dot bash rc file now let's see how we can change the configuration to make it persistent so nano is the text editor i like to use let's go in uh, you can actually do a lot of uh, changes or set the default configuration you can see that the history size is a thousand right you can uh, specify the size of the windows and you know there are a couple of variables that you can do right so the default config that determines the prompt is the color prompt right uh, if it's color prompt you will take this default parameters and then if it's non-color prompt you'll take this default parameters right so uh, I've done the change so you will not see the default parameters um, but you've not done the change you can see the parameters here okay there are some syntax here that uh, you can see right default uh, they use a slash open square bracket bracket to denote the configuration parameters slash 033 which is slash e followed by the color and then uh, M to specify the start of the color and then you know slash square bracket uh, closing square bracket to de define the um, you know variables enclosed in that syntax I mean it might help in the reading it might help in the syntax interpretation so uh, it's always good to follow right and then what I have not share is that you know to end the color they, they actually use the slash 033 or slash E uh, square bracket 00M followed by, you know, uh, forward slash and then the uh, close square bracket. Okay, so this is how you actually specify, right? So you can change the prompt here, right? And then uh, once it's done in the config file, every time you open up a new session or even when you reboot the computer, you get that. Uh, prompt permanently change okay so you will have to do this for all the various uh, user um, you know of course you can use a script to just you know look for that line and then change the line whether you are using echo sed okay so hope this tutorial is you know uh, fun and useful i do use i do change the prompt a lot uh, so that you know I can decide depending on the time, the season, and the mood to see how do I want my prompt to appear in my video. So it's a very short video, right? Hope this is useful and uh, you know, stay tuned for the next video. Take care and stay safe.